Ivanka Trump is, of course, seeking to distance herself from her father and apparently the entire Trump organization as a whole, because last week, Ivanka, through her lawyers, filed a motion with the court requesting that poor little Ivanka Trump be excluded from the order creating the financial monitor that New York Attorney General Letitia James requested for the organization. Basically, if you're not familiar with that, Letitia James went to the court and said, listen, they've created this new entity. I'm worried about them transferring money, but I'm also worried that they could still be engaging in fraud. So we need a financial monitor, an independent entity appointed by the court to uh, make sure that the Trumps are on the up and up with every financial dealing with the Trump organization. The judge agreed. Donald Trump has appealed that ruling. Uh, no resolution on that just yet. But Ivanka last week, again, had her lawyers submit a, a filing asking, can Ivanka just not be a part of this? They didn't ask for any of the other kids. They uh, just said, nope, just Ivanka. None of the other kids had their lawyers ask to be excluded from the financial monitoring. And of course, <laughs> Judge Arthur Ingeron overseeing the case didn't even acknowledge this filing from Ivanka when he issued yet another devastating blow to the Trump family, giving them just two weeks, two weeks to, uh, well, basically here it is. He gave the Trump organization two weeks to give retired federal judge, Barbara S. Jones, the monitor quote, a full and accurate description of the corporate structure, empowering her to review all financial disclosures to any persons or entities by the company. The Trumps must also inform the judge 30 days in advance of shifting any assets, ensuring they cannot outrun the New York attorney general's $250 million lawsuit. But for some reason, some reason that we do not know, Ivanka doesn't want her assets, her financial transactions to be looked at by the monitor. Now, don't you think that sounds a little weird? Okay. You're not asking for the monitor to just go away altogether. You're not saying that the monitor shouldn't be allowed to look at the company, but you are saying that, listen, we don't want her specific financial transactions to be looked at. Now, again, the judge just completely disregarded it and she's not going to be excluded, but the fact that she wanted to be excluded I don't know about you, but I think that sends up some pretty massive red flags, right? Like why? I want to know why, what are you doing that you don't want the court to see? Because honestly, in my opinion, I think that would be the only reason you don't want somebody looking over your shoulder is because you're afraid they might see something that they ought not see. But the reason of course, that Ivanka cannot escape this financial monitor is because as we've seen through the court filings, she's right there in the mix of all of this. Okay. This was not just Donald, Donald Jr. And Eric doing all of this alleged fraud. Like her name has come up. It hasn't come up recently, but it's come up in some of the, the things she is right there having directed some of it, having her signature on some things related to the fraud. So why on earth would you think that you shouldn't be subjected to the same rules as the rest of your family? And what are you doing that makes you want to be exempted? This goes beyond just the usual, it's an encroachment on my privacy, blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. I think there's something more to that, but I don't think we're ever going to get an answer. Of course, because the judge decided I'm not even going to entertain that because it's such a stupid request. Now, as I mentioned, Trump, uh, has appealed the overall appointment of the financial monitor. So we will keep an eye on that as it goes through the courts. I do not think <laughs> for any reason that the upper courts are going to say, oh yeah, yeah, let's get rid of it. Nope. They made a pretty rock solid case. They got what they needed and there's no reason unless they're doing something wrong. Why Trump and his kids don't want somebody looking over their shoulder right now. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.